These Malagasy rice fields have been in Jean Desire's family for five generations. Farmers in this area also sell bricks and work in fishing to augment and stabilize their income. He hopes to one day pass the land on to his children, but the government has its own plans for it. We will not exchange our land for money, nor will we agree to move, because the rice field was able to support our ancestors. The sale of the bricks helps to finance our daily needs and pay for our children's schooling. And when the rice harvest is over and I don't earn enough with my bricks, I can sell my crop. The government wants to build the new Malagasy capital, Tana Maswanj. $600 million is being invested to build new government departments, banks, housing and businesses. But this plan involves using 1,000 hectares of rice fields like these, situated a few kilometers from Antananarivo, the current capital. <coughs> the president wants to relocate those who farm this land to Bevwe, 700 kilometers away. If you have a one hectare rice field, in return for it, I'll give you five hectares in Bevoye. But the local residents are not all convinced and want to make themselves heard. Just by selling our fish, we can earn around seven euros fifty a day. You are destroying our livelihood. Why are you destroying our livelihood? The Malagasy government has offered a total of about $20 million in compensation to more than 700 families and indicated that it was looking for other solutions. The state is looking for unused rice fields that it can buy, to which it can relocate people affected by the project and who still wish to remain in rice growing. We will look for land nearby to build social-style housing. The project is one of President André Raswell's many campaign promises. The objective, to make Tana Maswange the most beautiful capital city in Africa.